MLB pitchers are always in danger of getting hit by a line drive off the bat of major league hitters, who have the ability to hit the ball more than 100 miles per hour. Pitchers like Brandon McCarthy, Jay Happ, Robbie Ray, and Chris Bassett, just to name a few, have experienced every pitcher's worst nightmare, getting hit in the head by a line drive. Back in 2014, Alex Torres, at the time a pitcher for the San Diego Padres, wore a more protective baseball cap for the first time. The reason for wearing this hat dates back to the year prior when his teammate at the time, Alex Cobb, was hit in the head by a comebacker and missed nearly two months after receiving a mild concussion. Luckily, Cobb was okay, but nonetheless, this event inspired Torres to try out a protective hat in an effort to protect himself against a comebacker. At the time, it looked like there was a potential for it to catch on. However, it never did, mainly because of the extra weight as well as how it looked. During that same season that Torres wore that oversized hat, there was another pitcher that had a similar idea, although he executed it in a much more ideal way. Colin McHugh, then pitcher for the Houston Astros, discussed in an interview that in mid-August, he attached a padded piece of Kevlar to the side of his hat. When he put the hat on, it wasn't visible. For those who aren't aware, Kevlar is a strong heat-resistant synthetic fiber that is very durable and can be used in the manufacturing of a bulletproof vest. As McHugh explains, there was no reason to put a piece of Kevlar on both sides of the hat, mainly because most comebackers to the mound hit the pitcher on their arm side, meaning the right side for righties and vice versa for lefties. It was also said that some of his teammates on the Astros at the time were interested in wearing the protective hat themselves. The following April after McHugh was interviewed, an ESPN article listed several pitchers who started to use a variation of the Kevlar padded hat. There was an article published in 2017 that listed several Cardinals pitchers that were wearing the safety insert that McHugh had been wearing for years. Since 2017, the protective hat discussion has been very quiet in terms of media attention and coverage. There was a couple of rumors that suggested pitchers could start wearing helmets on the mound. However, those rumors were dashed quickly considering the pitchers didn't want to have to make significant mechanical adjustments. The protective baseball hat seems like it should be something that every pitcher in the majors uses. However, it seems that it's still far from being used by the majority. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this issue in Major League Baseball. Make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. I'm not